Привет! В этой серии видео мы будем говорить о русской грамматике. In this series we will talk about Russian grammar. I hope everything goes well and that you have watched all the previous videos of the beginner level on this channel. If you want to acquire the ability to speak the Russian language without errors and with confidence, do not skip even a single video. They are all short and easy to follow. Review each video three or four or five times based on how hard it was for you and move on to the next one. We've learned to say phrases in Russian in the present and the past. But what is the way they speak about the things and actions that will happen in the future? Maybe you have them on your to-do list or just in your dreams. We have already seen that sometimes you can use the present when talking about the future. In this case, it's all about the actions not only imagined but prepared and organized. It is very similar to the same grammar aspect in English and in some other languages. If you have already planned and organized the future events, you are going to speak about them in the present. But there are situations in which it is essential to use the future. Let's find out how to do it. Actually, what we will learn in a few seconds is just one of the two futures of the Russian language. We Russians talk about the events that will happen only once, or in any case we want to say that it will be a unique and accomplished action, or we can talk about an action extended in time, a process. And the important thing is that it is not accomplished, not finished. In such a case we will use the other future, that is another grammatical structure. We will call them the simple future and the compound future. If this video is a revision step for you, and if you are at a higher level, you have already understood that we are talking about the verb aspects, the perfective and imperfective aspects of the Russian verbs. But it's a topic for another lesson, so let's just see the easy side of it. In this video, we are not going to see both the simple and compound future in detail, but I'll just give you an example of how different these forms are. In English, there's the future continuous tense and the future simple tense. Yes, it's close to it, but it's not always the same parallel thing. There are nuances. Only the context of the phrase and explanatory notes help to grasp the diversity of meaning. In the next videos, we will focus on the compound future tense, since, strange as it seems, it is much easier to learn than the simple future tense. Here are some examples of the compound future tense, or the imperfective aspect of the verbs in the future. Try to understand the most important rule, or simply the way it works. Я буду говорить. Ты будешь знать. Он будет думать. Мы будем обедать. Вы будете слушать. Они будут отдыхать. What have you found out about the Russian future tense? How do we form it? As you can see, two verbs are used. The first is called the auxiliary verb, and it's going to have one form for every grammar person. The second of the two is the main verb, or the sense verb, and we're going to leave it the way it is, in the infinitive form, the one you find on the dictionary. Very good. If you can follow me, let's move on. Let's learn the forms of the auxiliary verb, which is the verb to be, in the compound future in Russian. 
Repeat after me. Повторяй за мной. Буду. Будешь. Будет. Будем. Будете. Будут. Please pay attention to the stress. It's always the first syllable of the word to be stressed. Now you try to say them. Буду. Будешь. Будет. Будем. Будете. Будут. Очень хорошо. What's the English or your language for these phrases? Я буду говорить. I will speak or I am going to speak. Вы будете говорить. You will speak the plural form or you are going to speak. Они будут говорить. They will or are going to speak. Now, on the contrary, how do they say, I will speak? Я буду говорить. He will speak. Он будет говорить. We will or are going to speak. Мы будем говорить. As you can see, the main verb is always the same in all the personal forms, and what does change is the auxiliary verb, the first of the two. You are doing an awesome job. You have just learned to pronounce a few phrases with the compound future tense in the Russian language. As you have discovered, it is a form that serves to describe prolonged actions in the future. In addition, it has the function of describing the actions that will be repeated in the future. In the next videos, we will have conversations to get used to this new and very important rule. Пока!